pin up girl look that I created. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this look because I know I did. I had a very fun time creating this look for you guys. Um, I did a pin up girl look a while back. So if you look in my beginning videos, I did a pin up look, but I didn't really like it, so I think I'm going to delete it. It was very simple and I didn't really put too much work into it. So I wanted to do the whole the whole complete pinup look. So this is what it is. And the typical pinup girl look is usually um, bright, bold red lips. That's what I did. And bright pink blush. Like a really, really nice out there kind of blush. Um, a lot of highlighting. Um, very thick eyebrows and most importantly the look that the part that really completes the pinup girl look is the winged out black liner okay so i hope you guys enjoy this look and if you ever recreate it or if you have any more requests or any questions or concerns leave a comment down below or leave me a message okay so if you guys want to know how to do this look then keep on watching Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prime our lids, and I'm going to be using Victoria's Secret's eyeshadow primer, and this is just to prevent our shadows from creasing and from fading throughout the day. Okay, so after priming your lids, you're just going to take a white, um, like a white cream shadow, or you could even use a white eyeliner, and this is just going to be your base. So all the eyeshadows um, is going to have something to stick to. So just taking my finger, I'm just going to take some of NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And this is their white cream eyeshadow. And you don't have to use this, you could use a white eyeliner. And you could use a brush, but I'm just going to use my finger because it's easier to apply it. So this is just going to make the eyeshadows look more vibrant and it's going to have something to stick to. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to blend it. So just taking a fluffy brush, just like this, a fluffy blending brush. Just going to take some and you're just going to apply it generously all over your eyes. And you're going to put it all over up to the brow bone. And this is just going to look really, really pretty because it's a shimmery white eyeshadow. Okay, so now taking my Sephora eyeshadow, and this is just going to be um, our Tudor color. And I know we already applied that white eyeshadow all over, but this is just going to... This color is more brighter and more shimmery. It's like a frosty, like a frosty snow kind of, kind of white. And we're just going to take a small detailed brush, just like this one. This is from e.l.f. And we're just going to put this in our inner tear duct, dragging it down. So to warm up the crease, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Beauty Encyclopedia eyeshadow palette. And this one's in neutral, the neutral position. And to warm up the crease, we're just going to apply, um, like a nice, kind of bronzy brown eyeshadow and this is just going to warm up the crease but over that we're going to put on um, kind of more of like a like a taupey brown color and this is just going to be the undertone to warm up the crease so taking my crease brush I'm just going to take this color right here from our elf elf palette and I'm just going to work this in the crease Just like that. I'm just going to apply this all over the crease, working my way in. I'm taking my fluffy brush, my fluffy blending brush. Just take an eyeshadow that's similar to your skin tone. And for my 28 Neutral palette, I'm going to be using this one right here. This is like a flush tone, which is really similar to my skin tone. And I'm just going to blend that out so there's no harsh lines. So now for the lid color and our and the all over crease color, 
the color that we're going to use is Tempting from MAC, and this is just a nice kind of, hmm, like a taupe brown color, which looks like this. And it's called Tempting from MAC. And taking my crease brush, my fluffy brush, I'm just going to take them. And this is going to be the one brown color that we're going to put on. And as you see, we already put on the brown eyeshadow before as our undertone. So you're just going to put this all over the so lid. Now that we applied our liner and winged it out, I'm just going to take... Um, small pencil brush and taking any black eyeshadow just go over the liner that you applied and this is this is going to lock in the color for a longer staying power just go over and gently smudge it so it doesn't look too harsh just like that So then now that we applied um, our white eyeliner to make the eyes look more bigger than what it is, we're just going to go back with our MAC fluid line and we're going to create the illusion that we have a lash line underneath here and that the white is part of our eyes and it's going to make the eyes look bigger. Just like that. Then I already curled my lashes with my lash curler and taking a length, since, since I'm not going to be using lashes for these, I still want to make my eye, my eyelashes look long and lengthening. So I'm going to take a lengthening mascara and I'm going to take MAC Zoom Lash and I'm just going to put that all over. Okay, so I don't have a red lip liner, so I'm going to be using this kind of nude pinkish color and this is from L'Oreal's Color Rich Lip Liner and I'm just going to line my lips and like I said you don't have to do this but I recommend that you do because and preferably if you have a red lip liner that will work much better and I never used to wear lip liner, but it's very important because it prevents your lips from bleeding. Not bleeding, your lipstick from bleeding. And it just makes everything stay, long, stay on. And blend it in towards your lips. And fill it in too if you want. So I don't usually use red lipstick because I really don't like the red lips, it doesn't look good on me. But for this look, I'm going to have to because we're going for a pinup girl lip. So I don't really have any red lipstick, so I'm just going to use this really cheap one from the drugstore and it's from the Wet n Wild brand. This is like a dollar, it's really cheap. And I'm just going to do my red lips. And as you can see, it's very um, pigmented. And this was only a dollar in the drugstore. So. Okay. I don't know, I just don't like how I look with the red lips. I'm more of like a nude kind of girl. So. Like a nude, pinkish lipstick kind of girl. I guess I don't know how to rock it, but I heard that um, reddish tone lipsticks look good, but depending on your skin tone. So I guess you just have to find a color that suits your skin tone. But I don't know. I'm just not really into the whole red lipstick. I think it makes me look old. What do you think? What do you guys think? Yeah, but if you look at that, it's pretty bleeding. I don't have a red lip liner, so. Okay, so now to add a little bit more of a shine, just to create a nice sheer shine on our lips. 
I'm just going to take a lip gloss on top of that. And I'm going to be using a Sephora palette. I'm just taking this kind of reddish color right here. I'm just going to then with my lip brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And this is just going to make your lips look shinier. It just gives it a nice little shine. So now for the face. So to contour my cheeks, I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite contour powder. It's not a contouring powder, it's a um, blush from MAC, and it's blunt. I love this, I use this all the time. And I'm just taking a fluffy blush brush. I'm just going to take some on the side, just like that. And I'm contour my cheeks. Okay. And I also have a little bit of chubs right here, a little double chin, so I'm also going to contour that, contour my jawline, I love contouring, I have to contour, and contour just makes a huge difference. Okay, then taking a small eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to contour my nose, just to make it look a little bit slimmer and, and smaller than what it is. And it's okay if you have this harsh line because I'm going to use my finger to just blend that out. Okay. Just like that. So after you're done with contouring and slimming and slimming and chiseling your face, um, now we're gonna apply the blush, and we're gonna use a nice bright pink blush. Okay, so to make the powder blush stay on longer and to make it look more vibrant, I'm just gonna take a cream blush, and I'm gonna put that on the apples of my cheek. And you don't have to do this, but um, this is for longer staying power, the cream blush. And to really lock it in, the color, we're going to, it's like basically like foundation and powder. You know how you set your foundation with powder? Well, it's the same thing with cream blush. You're going to put a, you're going to put a powder blush on top to set it. Okay, so taking my Coastal Sense Color Blush Palette, I'm just going to take this very, 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 very bright pink right here. I don't usually use this because it's too bright, too out there kind of pink. I usually use this baby pink blush right here. You could, this one right here, as you can see, it's very pigmented. But just for this pin-up girl look, um... Yeah, these are very pigmented. If you guys have this Coastal Suns blush palette, tell me, tell me, tell me what you guys think because I love it. I think it's so pigmented. See, this is this one right here. Look how pigmented that is. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this bright pink blush right here and looking for my brush. Give me a second. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit because it's very pigmented. Just like that. And I'm going to put this in the apples of my cheeks. Wow. Look how bright that is. 